everybody, it's Jen. How's everybody doing? I cannot say enough, but we miss you, miss you, miss you, miss you, miss you, miss you, miss you. I could go on and on and on, but that's not what the video is about. So I thought that it would be fun to uh, see if we could improve upon something while we are, you know, stuck at home, not being able to get out to the gym since we're all closed. Um, so I thought maybe we could work on our favorite thing in the world, which is push-ups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through um, couple of different variations depending on the level that you're at um, and then challenge you to improve upon something whether or not that's more repetitions or if it's building to move to a different type of push-ups uh, moving from every other day to daily so whatever kind of challenge you want to do uh, what I'd love it if you did was post at the bottom um, of this Facebook post and let me know if you were able to do it so uh, since I'm standing I'm going to start uh, with standing push-ups so if you were someone who has a hard time getting down to the floor um, and doing push-ups do not fret I have a solution for you so what you're gonna do is you're gonna saddle up to a wall uh, you're going to go as close or as far away as you want the further away that you move the harder that it's going to be for you um, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to put your hands flat on the wall uh, you don't want them too high you don't want them really wide I'm thinking just outside of shoulders so what you're going to do, um, you kind of want to be a little bit on your toes. You don't want to have flat feet. You're going to get really stretched in the back. But what you're going to do is you're going to lower yourself down. Just see what to get to the wall. And then you're going to push yourself back up. So when I do this, you will notice my elbows, um, they are not flailing out to the side like this. This is no good for your shoulders. Um, so I have a slight little pointing to the corners of the room. My whole body, my whole body goes up, my whole body goes down. So I think the hard thing is, is a lot of times we do this, okay? So this is, you know, you get a little bit of chest, but this is not what I'm looking for. When you do your push-ups, it's not just a chest exercise. It's not just a chest exercise. It is also your core. So let's work on our core. Get more bang for your buck. So you're gonna be on toes, nice, tight core, lower yourself, and then push yourself back up, nice and controlled. So what I kind of like to tell people is, you know, you're using your arms, your body is along for the ride, okay? So that is your first variation. So if you do that, you go ahead and you move your feet out and out and out and you feel like you are ready to progress, we're gonna move on to the chair. So what you're gonna do is you're going to have a nice sturdy chair. Um, I would suggest possibly having it up against a wall. The last thing I would hate to do is for you to get down there and have it go right out from underneath you. So what you're going to do is you are going to uh, put your hands at the end so your fingers are pointed towards the wall. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna get yourself in a plank position, okay? Uh, once again, we are not gonna just move from your hips and have what I like to call duck butt. We're going to lower our whole body. So lower your whole body down and then come back up. Nice and controlled. Uh, wider your stances, more stable you're going to be. Narrower your stance, the harder it is going to be, okay? So pick which variation you would like to do. Um, you know, when you are doing this, I want you to, I want you to do as many reps as you're able to do in good form. You know, once your form starts to break down, you start to struggle, that's where you're gonna get hurt. So just make sure if you feel like, oh, I might be able to bang out one more rep, save it. You know, you can do that another rep tomorrow. All right, so if you've done these two or perhaps these two aren't your cup of tea, you wanna move down to the floor, we can do that. And I know everybody has a floor at home. So first one we're gonna do is we're going to do push-ups from your knees. So when you do push-ups from your knees, um, kind of like the wall, I think one of the biggest mistakes I see is people end up getting in the tabletop position and they lower themselves down and come back up. So again, you know, my bottom is up in the air. What I would like you to do to get into the position Get yourself in plank position, drop your knees. You see how my body, there is a nice line between knees, hips, and shoulders, okay? Hands are just outside of my shoulders. I'm bringing my body down. My elbows are not flailing out to the side. They're kind of tucked, and I'm pushing back up. Body goes all the way down, and I come all the way up, okay? So, we're gonna move on to regular push-ups. Regular push-ups, plank position, you are once again bringing your whole body down, whole body up, whole body down, whole body up. I'm getting tired. My, <laughs> when you do this, so I tell everybody in my class, if you can do two push-ups in good form, do two push-ups in good form and then drop to your knees and finish out your repetitions. That's how you're going to go. So my push-ups might look like, okay, 
I get my push up form, hands just outside shoulders, lower body down, come back up, lower body down, come back up. Then I feel like, ugh, I'm not gonna be able to do that one. Drop my knees, and then I can do a whole bunch more push ups. My upper body's tired. I feel like I might be a little bit of red in the face. That's okay. So, again, Take this challenge for however you want. I plan on doing it. It's a great exercise. Miss you guys.